test. Oh, there it goes. All right. Sorry. This is a new program for capturing stuff. Anyway. Hey guys, Scarheart here. And I've been challenged by Erin, aka Lisa is a nut, to do the ice bucket challenge. Or in my case, it's going to be a Hawaiian punch container challenge because I do not own a bucket. But I keep a Hawaiian punch container in my car for winter emergencies. It basically, um, if my windshield's frozen over, I can that way haul hot water from my apartment to I un, to um, unfreeze it because I don't have a scraper. Besides, last year with all the storms, the ice was really was like a foot thick. But anyway, still going. Hope that didn't skip. Anyway. Um, so, I'm still waiting for the ice to melt, so I want to talk a little bit first. As a teacher, as an advocate for the disabled, and as hopefully a good person. So, as many of you know, a lot of people have been doing this bucket to raise money. So, I'm guessing a lot of you are as confused as I was when I first saw everyone doing this. Partly my reason was because I read it as ASL, and I was like, you're dumping water on your head for American Sign Language? What? But no, it's ALS. And, um, it is definitely something that needs the money. So, what is ALS? Let's have a look at the challenge itself. Someone pours water on their head, and they are suddenly, in instant, suffering for some reason a lot of people find entertaining but um you're feeling things like numbness they're having a little bit of trouble breathing they're definitely feeling a little bit of pain you know icy water feels like knives if you ever re want, read or watch anything about the about the titanic they'll always say the water felt like knives it was so cold so yeah it's not fun but for the person doing it it's apparently entertaining for everyone else but um let me ask you something how would you feel if you had to feel that all the time and it wasn't going to get better until you died? That is essentially ALS. By dumping water on our heads, we are simulating some of the symptoms of ALS. ALS is a disease of the nerves that causes them to deteriorate essentially until we die. There's no cure. There's no way to control it. They don't even have treatment to keep the symptoms from getting better. So if you have it, you're feeling like that until you die. And you're essentially praying for a quick and painless death. Uh, dude. So. That's why so many people are doing this. They are raising money to help find a cure for an illness that has no cure, is deadly, and is suffering causes so much suffering you know you compare it to other things that people raise money for like I always walk or I used to always walk in JDRF I no longer can because I'm five miles from my hometown but um I used to walk for that to help cure diabetes but at least my friend with diabetes could keep it under control and could treat it people with ALS can't so you can imagine just if you or if a loved one had this, just how terrible it would be. So yeah, this isn't just fun and games, guys. And as a result, I'm not going to nominate anyone to do this. The only reason I'm doing this is because I legitimately don't have anything I can donate at the moment. But, uh, I mean, I have money, but I kind of need it to live off of. <laughs> But um, here's what I'm going to say. Instead of nominating everyone, I'm just going to ask everyone to donate. And if you can't donate, do what I'm doing right now. Do the, do the challenge, but don't just leave it at that. Actually explain what this is. Actually explain just how bad it is. And don't nominate people to do it. Just tell everyone to donate unless they are actually unable to like I am. That's going to... I think that's honestly going to help raise things faster. 
so it's been five minutes. Let's see how how my Hawaiian punch container is doing. By the way, I'm actually at um at um, Giant Sea National Park. Ah, crap! There's still ice cubes. All right, time's. longer than it should have. Sitting here in 98 degree weather would have melted the ice a little bit faster, I would hope. So I certainly feel like I'm melting. This is actually going to feel somewhat good, I suspect. All right, anyway. All right, ice fucking challenge. I remember what I said. I'm not nominating, just go donate. And if you can't donate, do the challenge and tell other people to donate. Don't worry about nominating people. That gives them an excuse not to donate. So, meh. Okay. Oops. Yeah, a towel here so that I keep my hair, wet hair from dripping on the laptop. Okay. My glass went all steamed up from the ice water and I'm evaporating off of it. Okay. So, go donate. Bye.